I'm writing this as much for myself as I am for you, dear listener. As 2023 broke open last month, I was posed with the cyclical question, will this year finally be the year? The one where I allow myself to take the pages and scribbles of moth-eaten ideas and draw them out beyond a single line. The year I stop putting things off until the right inspiration strikes or waiting for the perfect version of an idea to somehow telepathically download into my brain. The year I finally write. The perfectionism I've carried for years feels like an old friend at this point. The oversized sweatshirt I slip into out of habit because it's comfortable and familiar. I know how it fits. I know I can hide in it. As a habit, as a practice, setting unattainable standards for myself has been the shield I've hidden behind, and with it I've buried myself from the reach of fear, from the possibility of rejection, and from the stab of public shame. Self-suffocation, labeled as safety. And so I've started to ask myself, who are you? when you let go of fear and lean into joy? Who are you when you shed every rule and creative constraint you've built for yourself and immersed yourself in play? Who do you want to be when no one is watching? How do you play when no one else is in the room? Have you forgotten? And so I'm giving myself permission this year to play to stop postponing joy as a self-defense reflex, to play with words and ideas for the sense of satisfaction it brings me. I want the focus of this year to be wonder, to be showing my younger self that I'm worthy of it. The past several months of making and creating in this YouTube space has allowed me to realize that what I make doesn't have to be perfect in order for it to be meaningful, not just for other people, but mainly myself. Perfectionism is the prison I put myself in thinking it would protect me from the hurt I expected from others, not realizing that by shrinking myself, the silence it required was simultaneous suffocation, choking out whatever part of myself was seeking play. The fire, so to speak, was coming from inside the house. And so I pass this revelation off to you Dear listener, one that's taken me 27 years, that you don't have to be anything less or more than you already are in order to create something. Point blank. Whether anyone sees what you make is up to you, but exploring wonder isn't something that requires anyone else to be in attendance. A gentle reminder that you are allowed to seek it, and not only that, you are worthy of it. And so this year I'm promising myself writing, to seek joy and wonder where I can, and planning on getting my creative hands messy. I hope, dear listener, that you'll be affording yourself a similar level of kindness in whatever area of your life you may need it. If you enjoyed this little essay and would like to follow my writing journey, I'll leave a link to my substack in the show notes. There I'll be posting essays, personal musings, poetry, and whatever else may come along. All material there is free to access by everyone, but if you have the means and desire to, I'd be incredibly humbled if you wanted to financially support my work. And with that, friends, please take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.